Campagnolo. Complete breakdown of the components of the hydraulic disc brake control. In this video, we will see how to disassemble and reassemble the parts of a hydraulic disc brake control. Brake lever, master cylinder, the hydraulic part of the control, hydraulic hose. Lock the pivot from the inner side and unscrew the end of the outer side. Insert a 3mm Allen wrench or a 3mm flat-faced punch into the hole in the control, then use a rubber hammer to drift the pivot out. Remove the brake lever and the spring behind it. Lift the hood and remove it. In the case of controls for mechanical group sets, identify the plate that holds the hydraulic hose in position, which is not present in EPS group sets. Loosen the screw and pull aside the hose inside the control. Push in the curved area to remove the master cylinder from the body. At the same time, keep your finger on the rear spring to avoid losing it. Loosen the screw that connects the hose with the banjo to the master cylinder. If you need to install the left master cylinder into the right-hand body or vice versa, also remove the lock screw from the opposite side of the hose and fit it on the other side of the master cylinder, tightening it to the required torque. Tighten the screw that connects the hose with the banjo to the master cylinder checking that the two O-rings are present on the inner and outer sides of the banjo and tighten to the required torque. Insert the hydraulic component in the control body with the spring installed on the rear side. Press simultaneously on the master cylinder and the spring, making sure the spring is correctly positioned. Insert the hose in the groove on the control body. In the case of controls for mechanical units, identify the plate that holds the hydraulic hose in position and tighten its screw. Install the smooth bush with no teeth on the inner surface. Install the bush with teeth on the outer surface. Spread grease on the check ring too and position it on the outer bush so that the teeth are positioned to act as a check when the pivot is inserted. Put grease on the spring and fit it in the hole on the control body. Insert the lever into the control body. Hold the bushes and ring in position while you insert a screwdriver or 3mm flat-faced punch from the outer side of the control. Insert the pivot from the inner side, drawing back the screwdriver or punch at the same time. By turning the screw, you move the check ring beyond the pivot. Tighten to the required torque. Check that the brake lever moves smoothly. 